Hey, hi, friends. Welcome back to Baho Automation Lab once again. And uh, in the previous session, we have created our login page objects here. Okay, in our TDD framework, let's understand how to uh, do the code reusability. Also, how we can uh, implement this page object in our uh, this invalid username test. Okay, so let's see this practically here. Watch this video very carefully till the end so you can understand this concept very easily because there are lots of changes in new TDD framework and uh, new latest uh, APM. Uh, Java client library. Okay. So here in previously, we have created our driver methods in our base test. Also, we have created this config.properties file to long, uh, to get the access uh, data from this properties file. Also, we have implemented our login page objects. Also, in our test in JXML, we have understand how to get this parameterized uh, data from the, uh, this test in JXML into our uh, best test. Okay. So let's implement our page object models. Uh, methods in our test to uh, reduce this code codes and we not required to write this uh, like all these find elements and all those methods here uh, and we are just implemented this sim simply from the login page object and uh, let's reduce the code reusability and let's use the code in the very systematic way to understand everyone easily okay so watch this very carefully because we are doing all these steps in practically in this lecture so first of all how to um access this page object in our uh, uh, in our swag lab login test okay for this invalid username so first we required to define this uh, create an object of this page object uh, class in our test okay so we are accessing all this uh, like methods and uh, variables into this, this test via to me using two things in the java you know that we have uh, already seen the java lectures for example uh, if, if you can extend that uh, particular uh, class to that your parent class and access all this property using the inner heads concept otherwise you can simply uh, like create object of that particular class and now access all these properties and methods into our child class so here simple we, we we will create a login page object uh, login page object uh, in our test class so here let's create a login page object login page object let's say login page okay i have defined this globally and in in our uh, before method let's create this one let's say public void void before method method okay and in this method let's create an object of this login page object at the rate before method Okay, and inside that, let's import this before method from the test in generations. And after that, let's create this uh, object for this login page. So we have defined this globally login page, right? So let's copy this from here and create new login page object. Perfect. So we have created this before every test, it will get uh, executed. So I think we have multiple methods here, so, so don't create this as a before method. Let's create this as a be, uh, don't create it as a before test. Let's create it as a before method. Okay, so let's import before method. So it's control save it. Let's import before method only, not before test. Okay, don't be right like this. Let's copy from this here. Oh, dot test ng and just paste it here before method remove this control shift o and is done so before every method and okay this method i will create treat as a one test right so before every method it will create an object of this login uh, page okay so we require this uh, for our login test we require the object of the from this login page object class only right so we are creating the object of that uh, let's see this uh, in the future like uh, if we require a two pages object then we can just define the object of that two pages we'll see that uh, practically in future lectures but here let's understand how to access this page object in our uh, this particular for this particular test only now this login page uh, object is having the capability capacity to um, get all the methods from this login page object right so how to do that so here we have implemented like web element username field text and all those things we have implemented and you have already uh, created login object for this in this login page object right in the same way simple so let's uh, access this through this method uh, login in page object now 
so what we require to do when we click uh, like a, when we like a type like login page and then dot then we can uh, get the access of all the methods which is we define in the login page object so we need required to enter username so just call that method only username and pass that username here Pass that username. This is the hard coded value, so just pass it into the brackets. Yeah, so now we're not required to write this all these three tips. Okay, so I'm just removing that one. Right now, let's I need to click on this login text login click. Um, the text login button right so we have already created object for this the click on the login button simply you can access that one here so how to access that using this login page object only okay simple login page dot click on login button simple and it's very uh, easily to understand as well okay so now we have click on the login button so we not required to write this line right now Hope you're understanding guys if you don't understand anything you can just commit out and I'll, I'll answer it all the questions related to the your uh, like uh, queries okay so don't uh, think much it's a very simple thing like we are just creating object here and we'll accessing all the methods and the properties from this login page object here okay we have click click on login button now we not required this code right simple way we have getting the actual error message tick using this right click on the uh, get required guest test using this so we not required this as well now uh, we're not implementing any x path or anything here okay any id or anything we'll just a simple type a login page and simple uh, get error message text when user entered the invalid username simple because we have created the username so now we see here how much code reusability we have done here like whenever we required this login page or uh, username to enter the username in any ever test, you just create an object of this particular uh, login page object class and you can access these methods. So we not required to write that find element by X path and uh, everything uh, again and again in your script. Okay. If you have multiple tests here, multiple test classes, multiple test cases, you can anytime, whenever we require to access this username, whenever you want to require to log in because it's in the your application multiple times any any application you are using you require to log in many times okay so it's not a good idea to write our login test in every script right so and if you have multiple test cases multiple classes you can simply access this page object of this login page object and access this to may two things like username and password and everything whatever whenever you want to click on the login button you whenever you want to enter the username you just call that particular page object class and access that methods in that particular test and it will work simple so we have to reduce our code multiple time we not required to write multiple times and you have reduced multi like uh, lots of code in this particular test okay now let's run this program we we have expected one error here here but let's see whether we are able to see that error or not i'll just uh, stopping our apm server and restarting again and uh, in the latest version we will go get one error if you write this type of code so we need to call the apm file field decode but let's to your understanding what type of error we'll get we can get if you directly write the page object let's see here It is launching to a live app, but it's fail. The script is fail. Okay, so let's understand why it's failing. So go to the run result test, and he can see the expected result is like uh, cannot invoke uh, here and LM because element is null. So previously, lots of time while developing the TDD framework, I have defined this page of uh, like um, APM field decor. Uh, okay, page factory. Uh, uh, page factory uh, like a constructor in our base test but now uh, if you are using the latest version of java client uh, like 9.2.2 you have to you define that uh, apm page field decor in your page object class every page object class okay keep it in your mind so we have to create the constructor for this page object model first page object class first 
and then we have to define this page object ready code. So let's create a one constructor here, like simple public login page object. Okay. And inside that, let's type page factory dot in elements. Let's take a field decor. Okay. And here let's type new APM field decor. Field decorator. In this field decorator, here let's pa pass our driver like a config because we are getting driver is uh, element is null here right config dot driver and let's assign this to this field decor okay so don't worry about this code it's it's just initializing your page factory elements which is we have defined in our page object uh, using this class using this methods okay so in this uh, constructor we have defined our apm page uh, field decor so whenever you implement any new page object you have to define this like this and our code will be work like a charm like let's see how it's running so i'll just clear this one open here now right click on this and run as test ng suit so open our emulator and your our apm server as well so script is running let's see here it's enter username it's enter password and also get the text of this uh, password is required so our script is passed successfully right so we have initialized this so now in this lecture we have understand how to implement this our login page object in our login sigla test okay so let's continue this chapter in the next uh, session as well till time uh, if you have any question related to this uh, particular session you can simply comment out me i will give the answer okay and uh, to learning this type of uh, really interesting concept practically don't forget to like share and subscribe bahu automation lab so let's meet in next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care